Hello friends, today we'll learn about the plant life cycle. Wow, you're playing here in the park. So many beautiful plants are here. All living things, including plants, have a specific life cycle that keeps their species alive. A life cycle is defined as the developmental stages that occur during an organism's lifetime. The stages a plant experiences from its birth to its death, and when the cycle repeats, they're described as the life cycle of a plant. Let's learn about the stages of the plant life cycle. Seeds Seeds contain the embryo of the plant with essential food and an outer coating for protection. These seeds are dispersed across the land in several ways, by wind, explosion, animals and birds, and by water. There are the four main modes of seed dispersal. When they fall on the fertile soil with the necessary things, such as oxygen, water, and correct temperature, they germinate and start their life's journey. Germination and seedling. The seed first breaks the outer coat and starts growing its first leaves and roots, called seedlings. When the leaves and roots develop, they start to function. The roots start their role of absorbing water and nutrients, while the leaves continue photosynthesis for food production. Growing to maturity. In this stage, the plants become mature, their roots become stronger, and branches and leaves also increase. During this time, plants are ready to make flowers and new seeds. Now we'll see the next stage of the plant life cycle. Flowering, pollinating, and seedling. When plants become mature, they start to make flowers from modified shoots. In most plants, a flower contains male and female parts. The female part is called a pistil, which contains stigma, style, and ovary. The male part is called a stamen, which contains anther and filament. In the pollination process, the pollen from the male part of the plant transfers to the female part of the plant. The stamen produces the pollen, which needs to reach the pistil for the production of seeds. Pollination generally occurs naturally, and most often is due to insects, birds, and mammals. The sticky pollen clings to their bodies, where it is carried from one plant to another. Honeybees do more pollination than any other insect. They're called pollinators. After pollination has occurred, the flowers transform into fruiting bodies, which protect numerous seeds that are inside. Seed Dispersion After the production of seeds, the plants need a way to disperse these seeds to favorable places where they can germinate and restart their life cycle. Most of the time, nature does the job of dispersion for the plants through wind, explosions, animals and birds, and water as you've learned in the beginning. Wow! You have prepared a chart to show the stages of the life cycle of plants. You can use it for your assignments. It's always a good initiative to plant more and more trees. Trees play a very vital role of maintaining the balance of our ecosystem. Now you know a lot about the topics. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye!